Oh, oh, they're looking good now. How good does that look? Hi, I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these street-styled beef skewers in your own backyard. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. Look what I picked up from Gippsland Premium Meats, some skirt steak. I love this cut of beef, and it's gonna be perfect for our skewers. Now, we do need to prep it first by removing any silver skin and any fat. So once they're cleaned up, we're gonna cut them across the grain, and you can see the grain runs down it. We just angle your knife, and we're going to slice them off in slithers. And they're going to do these slithers about five mil thick. Now, once it's all trimmed up, we just throw that all into a bowl. Pretty simple so far, nearly as simple as liking this video. We're going to make a super tasty marinade for the beef. So into the same bowl as the beef, we want to put a third of a cup of olive oil and a third of a cup of soy sauce. Uh, about a teaspoon of fish sauce, quarter of a cup of honey, four cloves of crushed garlic, oh, three teaspoons, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, tablespoon of crushed ginger, uh, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So we just need to mix this up really thoroughly. And then we're going to allow it to sit in the fridge and marinate for two hours. Now, if you don't have two hours to spare, uh, just marinate them for a couple of hours. That's two hours marinating in the fridge, so we can now make up our skewers. Easy enough to do. We're just gonna fold up our beef like that and pierce it with a skewer. You, and you wanna put a few pieces onto each skewer. I'm using metal skewers. If you've only got the wooden ones, soak them in water for an hour to prevent burning. Today, I'm gonna be using my Weber Go Anywhere, or GA as they're known, and I'm gonna be pairing it up with a 100 mil riser from Rub and Grub. This way I can keep these beef skewers just a little higher off that lit charcoal. So I'll three quarter fill a chimney starter with lump charcoal, light it up once it's all ashed over, we'll dump it in. And just using a pair of old tongs, we just spread it out, make sure it's nice and even. And don't forget to make sure the bottom vents are wide open. By making sure those bottom vents are wide open, we're getting as much oxygen to that charcoal as possible, creating a hotter heat source. Now there's no need to wait. We can get the skewers directly over the charcoal straight away. And eventually this will create a bit of smoke and that's just due to the oil that we've got in that marinade. Give each side a couple of minutes before turning. And by using the riser, we don't have to turn these skewers as often. Now we do want them to char up. We don't want them to burn. Charring means flavor. Burning means you're gonna get your food thrown at you when you serve it up to me. How good are they looking? Did you know Shuey's Barbecue has a Facebook page filled with awesome people just like you? Today I'm cooking with a high direct heat using the GA and a riser. These street style beef skewers are only gonna take about 15 minutes to get to that perfect medium of 60 degrees Celsius. Or for those of you using my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. Now this would be a perfect time to subscribe to the channel and while you're there, hit that bell button. That bell button's gonna allow you to be notified every time I drink more beer. The skewers are ready, so we can get them off the heat. Just remember, they are gonna be hot, so give them a few minutes to cool down. Seriously, the flavor is off the chart. These are that good, they should be illegal. Mmm. Can't use that now. No, I did it, mmm. <laughs> As always, cheers for watching.